first, let's look at what happened when we took our cameras down to Kingston recently in the pouring rain. We visited the outdoor location of a new rock film to see just how this kind of movie is made. Here we are on location at uh, Ravens 8 Island off Kingston and what's going on behind me here is the shooting of Popstick uh, with the groups like Glitter Band, uh, Mada here, the Rubettes and uh, Sally James as well as Peter Denyer. Well let's go and see how they make these films. <laughs> a gentleman called Hero who works for a television company, somewhat like your own, whose job is to collect together a number of groups for a big pop television programme. Because the groups are difficult to find, he's invented a group detector van, rather like the television detector vans. And he's been issued with a driver from the motor pool, Mr Rockbottom, played by Freddie Jones, who's trying to sabotage the concert. Um, I did make two rather abortive records a couple of years back, which may not have done very much in this country. I do have the, the heady heights of number 18 in Holland, which I, th I think was a big success when you consider how badly I sing. But this is, this is the first time I've ever made a pop film, and oh, it's, it's really wild. Up to that mark, gentlemen, and that's your playing mark. <laughs> to set off? I mean, how many works of, uh, weeks of work before the film? On this one? Mm. Six, six weeks, I suppose. I mean, it depends if he writes the script or not. I mean, as it, as it is, I wrote it with another guy, so that was basically two days solid work, 16-hour days. What about uh, shooting a pop film? I mean, what are the particular difficulties of that? The, the temptation is to say the pop stars, but it isn't really, because they're quite good. They're very good. Um, there aren't any real difficulties, I suppose, as such. I mean, it's uh, providing that you don't... It depends how you, how you deal with them as actors, really, I suppose. That, that what, they've, what they've got to be is you, you can't really give them lines as such. It's, it's ad-libbing and you give them a rough idea what you're at and off you go from there. Because basically they are not actors, so you're dealing with non-actors. Well, they're acts, but they're not actors as such, yeah. That's very good. I like that. I mean, it would be a very easy film to shoot if you had a good unit with you, you know, but this... This lot... No, they're very good. But I think for the pop, the, the pop boys, really, what you're talking about, I don't suppose our, half of them have really done anything like this before, and they don't really understand getting up at 6.30 in the morning and all that sort of thing. Nevertheless, they're very good at it. Here's an old friend of ours, or a young friend of ours, Saturday morning. Pleasure. Sally, what are you doing here? Well, I don't really know, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> As Peter was telling you, we're in a bit of confusion. We're standing in the pouring rain. Um, the shooting a sequence. I'm supposed to be in another film, you see. And um, uh, Peter thinks that I'm in trouble because I'm being chased. So he rushes in to rescue me. But in fact, that is the sequence for the other film, so he completely ruins our filming. Do you see what I mean? And he takes me off and puts me in the glitter boat. See, I like this sort of glittery uniform you're well, wearing. Yes, I thought I'd outdo Gary for a change, you know. <laughs> bit of competition. Hello, Freddie Jones. Oh. <laughs> uh, what do you do? You're, I believe you're the square in the film. Yes, yes, I would say that's right, yes. And uh, a sort of datum from which this pop mania can... Uh, leap you know what do you think of all these people in glitter and things walking around you? a little strange uh, i'm uh, one of the i was brought up on the big band dorset brothers and people like that so it's a bit hard for me do you ever have you ever heard them play at all uh, yeah only in the film yes and uh, my son who's eight seems to be an authority but uh, i'm afraid i have you talked to them at all i mean uh, what do you talk to them about if, if yes, indeed they speak yes they do yes a lot yes charming yes 
include me in the conversations and things. About what? About, well, the intricacies of filming and things like that, and how the thing's going. Mm -hmm. Do you find a film like this then a challenge, suddenly making a rock? I don't think I'd be very happy as a company man. I was at the Royal Shakespeare for quite a long time, but uh, I like the, the stimulus of the jungle, you know, the constant change. Uh, you don't think you'd join the glitter band? <laughs> well, I don't think they'll have me. I'll try and get an audition, though, before they do that. How many numbers are you doing in the film altogether? Four. Well, I think we're playing three and they're using Angel Face. It's yeah. just a piece of theme music, yeah. Yeah. somewhere along the line. And uh, any words with Gary? Is he, uh, know about, he hasn't seen any rushes or anything like that, has he? No. Could be the stars breaking up and the group staying together. <laughs> <laughs> we got, we, we've got an audition on next, next week, haven't we? Yeah, we're <laughs> Yeah, we're, we're auditioning um, Freddie, you know. Freddie yeah, Jones, oh, yeah, uh, Freddie. Yeah. We'd like to have him on, on the band, wouldn't we? Yeah. 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 If I was a singer, I think I'd like to have a go at that. <laughs> Incidentally, you'll have heard the name Popstick used during that film. The uh, producers had, in fact, changed the title of the film since we visited the location. And even Too Young to Rock may not be the final one. However, we'll keep you informed nearer the date of its release in London.